Hello friends, Alyssa here for another video. Today I would like to talk about restaurants and eating raw in restaurants and a little bit of the psychological social aspects of going out with your friends and having something totally different. So going out to eat is a huge part of our social lives and society says to people who are eating healthy that they're obsessed with food but actually everybody's obsessed with food it's not just the people who are eating healthy and promoting it on social media everybody's obsessed with food i mean every second commercial is food every second post on facebook is food people love food and it's okay because we need food to live the problem comes when we decide to eat something healthy at a restaurant and everybody else is eating something not quite as healthy. And I noticed this a couple days ago, I went out with a bunch of people and there was a variety of different things ordered. So there was pizza, there was nachos, there was a ginger beef salad that was ordered and a variety of other things. And I seem to be singled out because I ordered a salad. It's interesting to me because the cleaner the item is that you order, the more of a target your meal becomes. And it's not like somebody ordering a pizza and somebody ordering nachos, they don't attack each other saying, why are you ordering nachos? Why don't you have the pizza? Instead, they say, why are you ordering the salad? Why don't you have some pizza? Or, you know, all the questions that I get asked when I eat a salad is, is that going to be enough? Do you want to have more? Do you want some of my stuff? Why aren't you having more? Uh, did you eat before you came? You know, are you on a diet? I get all of those questions when I choose my raw salad. And yes, I eat before I go to a restaurant for the most part because I know that the salads that are there are quite small. The average person who's eating a standard North American diet, when they see a salad in a restaurant that's kind of, you know, a fair size salad, they think that's massive salad because they don't normally eat that many greens in one day. But for me, it's only about a third or quarter of what I would normally eat for dinner. So to me, it's more of a snack, whereas they think it's a huge salad, especially the way that I can get the restaurants to make it for me. Uh, it's typically a mountain of greens. So it does look like a lot of food to some people. So I do attract a lot of looks and questions when I do order. And this is coming from my own perspective from the past is whenever I would see somebody eating a salad with no dressing or, you know, eating something really, really, really healthy, I didn't automatically think that they were weird or strange or unhealthy or anything like that. Actually, I felt that I should be doing the same thing. And then I would tend to, you know, question them and say like, you sure you want, like I did the same thing that people do to me. So I understand where they're coming from. But now that I am here, I understand why people would order the salad and why they would want to eat that because the other stuff just wasn't, it didn't make me feel good. So I, I can see it from both perspectives, but the people who are zeroing in on those eating the salads actually really think that they should be eating them themselves and that maybe what they ordered isn't always the best choice. Maybe they wish they ordered the salad or had more willpower to order the salad, but they aren't actually alienating you. They are feeling a lot of things inside internally uh, maybe conflicting with their choice conflicting with an addiction they have to say cheese or whatever they're eating but it's more of an internal battle it's not you and it's not your clean salad that they are picking on or making fun of it's again it's the internal battle that they are dealing with and this is what I dealt with when I would see somebody eating something very very healthy I would have this internal battle and I would say I really should be ordering that or why did I order this pizza but it's so good and I want to eat this pizza and then I would feel crappy after and then I would think I bet that person didn't feel crappy at all after eating that salad and I bet that person didn't have any guilt and then I would feel like I really need to do that next time I go out and there never was a next time because I never actually made the choice Choice to do that so that is a little psychological um, stuff that happens when you go with other people who are not eating the same thing that you do my only real advice is to just enjoy your salad and just say this is like the most epic salad it's so good it's so delicious and this is exactly what I wanted um, and just you know you can say yours looks great 
or if they offer you some, just say no thanks. It really depends on who you're with because if you're with people who you know you can talk to about your diet, then go for it. But if you're with people who may start a debate or whatever and you don't want to go there at this little social gathering, then just say no thank you, it's great, yours looks good, blah blah blah, but I'm going to enjoy mine and whatever. You just leave it at that. I just say I'm trying to eat healthier and this is what I want right now uh, or I ate before I came and this is really all I want to have. There are a couple little things that you can say to kind of avert the issue, but everyone's going to eat their stuff and everybody's going to be wishing that they ate a little bit healthier when they go out. Yes, it can taste great at the beginning, but we all know what happens after we eat pizza at a restaurant. So that said, when I go to a restaurant, I first scan the menu and I see any salads that I can modify. First I make it vegan and then I make it raw. So first I take away all animal products, so any chicken or shrimp or anything that they put on there, cheese, feta, um, egg, if they or bacon, bits or whatever, any animal product that is on the salad I ask them to take off. And then I say, because I'm not purchasing the animal products, which are the most uh, expensive part of the salad, I ask them to add other vegetables and berries to my salad. The key is to get them to add berries, and most restaurants have some kind of fruit around, especially if they it's a lounge or a bar, kind of like that. They're gonna have a lot of fruit for the desserts and the beverages. So if they, they make like martinis or bellinis or whatever, they have fresh fruit in the back. We know that. So I ask them to add fruit to my salad because I want the sweet aspect in my salad because just lemon juice doesn't cut it all the time. Sometimes I want to have that sweetness and, you know, dried cranberries, um, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, any kind of berries that they can add. Um, and last time that I was out, they added apple slices to my salad. So it's really nice to have that combination of sweet with the greens. And then I asked them for a lemon wedge on the side to use as my dressing and I pour a little bit of black pepper. If you want, you could add that for a little bit of spice. or. You can always make a salad dressing, like my French dressing um, or whatever, and keep it in a little tiny container, stick it in your purse, and just pour it on your salad when you get to the restaurant. That's another option as well. But I always ask them to add extra veggies because I'm not purchasing the animal products. And some salads are gonna have things like croutons or uh, noodles or whatever, and just ask to take it off. And you don't have to say you have a gluten allergy, you don't have to say anything like that. Just say, I just don't want them on my salad, and they will take them off. So there's that possibility as well. And that's what I do when I go for a restaurant. And normally, the restaurants are super happy to make me massive salads, and they have fun doing it because it's something out of the ordinary. They get to make something different, and they get to be creative in the back. I mean, they're making the same thing every single day and it's nice to get a break. It's nice for them to make something creative. I've had plenty of waitresses come up and say, the chef's had a really great time making your salad in the back and they have, you know, there's corn on it, um, peppers, avocado, apples, berries, peppers, all kinds of stuff on my salad and they put extra greens in there too for me. So it really just, you just have to ask guys, it's super simple and most restaurants will definitely cater to you with no problem. I haven't encountered any issues yet. Some salads are a little weak, but that's okay. I just don't normally go back to those restaurants if they don't, you know, give me a little extra. Uh, but there are a lot of restaurants that go over and above when I ask for it. So I hope this video helps somebody out there if you're having issues with the social aspect of eating raw when you're out or even just vegan. Um, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can find me on Facebook at Lissa's Raw Food Romance, on Instagram at Raw Food Romance, and on Snapchat, I am Lissa Raw Vegan. So until the next video, guys, enjoy your salads and your fruit and fruit on.